Hello and welcome to GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. I'm doing a quick video today on the Nikon Speedlight SB600. Why, you might ask. Well, I'm doing it as a review on a, a second-hand bargain, basically. Now, um, I know this flash has been superseded many times, and there's the option of the, the SB700, the 800, the 900. Um, so, you know, how does this perform? And one of the main features that I like about this being a, a, a budget, if you like, flash now, is that it does support the Nikon creative lighting system. You know, there may be some people that don't realise that. Now, the uh, camera that I use, the Nikon D7000, has got the uh, commander mode system built in, so it can act as a commander. So I don't need any other items to create my own little lighting system apart from my camera and one flash. If your camera doesn't have the commander mode on it, then you would need to buy a flash which has commander mode built in, like the SB700, the 900, and I'm not sure about the 800 whether that has or not. I presume it does, but don't hold me to that. Um, so, firstly, um, just a quick look around the flash. Uh, it's very basic. It's uh, not too heavy. It has the the different angles for the, the bounce and also you can twist it etc so no problems there I've got just a little diffuser on there it has a little flap now some people think that that's a diffuser that is not a diffuser that is a wide angle lens this goes down to 24 mil if you're using it the flash um, between like uh, on an 18 mil so anything between 18 and 24 mil you should use the uh, wide angle lens uh, but again that is not a diffuser okay so if you want a diffuser a couple of quid bosh okay so that's that sorted um, on the front you've got your um, assist lights uh, which flash red that's um, automatically set up and then in the corners there's two little lights which when they're flashing that indicates that you're in the CLS creative lighting mode on the back, once you put it on the camera, there's a, a lock button which just basically shoots a little pin down into a hole. And you've got an on-off button, a mode button, a zoom button, and a plus and a minus button, and a, a flash test button. Now a lot of people say these are quite complicated, but a lot of that is just because you need to hit two buttons together to get into certain different menus. <coughs> Something to note is if you press the mode and the on off button together and hold it for a few seconds that just resets the cat the flash and it will go into its sort of TTL mode. I tend to use it in TTL BL mode when it's on the camera which is a balanced um, lighting system and that seems to work very well with the diffuser um, especially when you're bouncing it off the ceiling. When um, <coughs> When you're using these, um, there's no issues with the uh, batteries at all. If they're left for a while, there has been problems with the batteries um, leaking inside, and that can cause problems with the connections, obviously. Now, the batteries I use are the 7dayshop.com good-to-go batteries. These are the same as the Sanyo Any Loops. These are 2100s. I've just ordered a new batch of eight, which are 2150s, I think they are now. Um, essentially the same battery. The, the good thing about them, um, apart from them being called good to go, is they don't lose their charge. So they can sit in there um, for a good couple of months. When you go to use it, they're going to be charged, unlike the nickel metal hydrides and NICADs, and that will generally be flat. So they're brilliant for um, flashes. Also, in my opinion, it gives you a slightly better recycling time for your flash. So that's your batteries. Okay. Now, once the, I'm just going to reset it, once the flash is on, um, it says it will normally be in your standard TTL mode. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up firstly the camera in commander mode, and I'll do that now. Okay, so this is how you set up the Nikon D7000 into commander mode. The camera's on, I'm going to go into the menu. And there we are. Um, go over. You choose the little pencil sign, and then go over bracketing flash option. Okay, that. 
Then we scroll down to our flash control for built-in flash and go across. You've got the option of TTL, manual, repeating flash, commander mode. And the commander mode is the one we want, so go across. Now we've got the commander mode. So you've got the built-in flash mode. Dash dash means that the built-in flash's only job is to fire the remote flash. So it won't actually be powerful enough to affect the image. And that's how we want it. You can have that as TTL, so it will affect the image. And that will sort out the, the uh, exposure between itself and the remote flash. And then you can compensate for which one you want to be more powerful, less power, or whatever. But for the moment, we're just going to keep it simple. And we just want to fire the um, flash from the camera. So that's dash dash is the mode. Right. Now, we're going to use it in group A. So we're going to tell the flash that it is group A, and as you can see it's on channel 3, and we want it TTL, through the lens meter in. So that's OK. So we're just going to OK that. Pop the flash. The D7000 is now ready, and now I will show you how to set up the speed light into uh, CLS mode, and I'll show you that now. Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up the speed light SP600 in CLS mode. So we're going to turn the flash on. So, as you can see, it's just in normal TTL mode. And we're going to hold the zoom and the minus button together. Just lock it on. A couple of seconds. The squiggly line. Under the off means you're in the uh, CLS mode. So we press the mode button once, changes it to on. Press and hold the zoom and the minus button. Revert back to the main screen as you can see we're in group three, sorry, um, channel three, group A. So that is now ready. Okay, so now um, everything's set up going to pop that on there. The camera's on, obviously you need to pop the flash. When, when I fire this, the flash will fire and the speed light will pick it up and that will also fire. There you go. You also get a little bleep and a, a long bleep to, to denote that it's, it's ready to go again. I'll show that again. Now you will see a flash from the, the, uh, the onboard flash, but that will not affect the image. That's not powerful enough to affect the image. That is literally only powerful enough to set off um, the speed light. So, in a nutshell, that's it. If you've got a camera which supports Nikon's CLS for um, you know £145, which is what I've spent on this flash, you can have an off-camera um, flash um, system which can help with creativity and um, especially when you're doing portraits and things like that anyway i hope this helps this has been grvo tv g's reviews views and opinions cheers bye